If you are a researcher, have you ever heard of something called as research skill checklist? So today in this video, I'm going to talk about the research skill checklist you need to know if you're going to be a researcher. If you're someone who is wondering how do I have to start my research or how do I have to navigate to the path of research? Where do I have to begin? How do I have to begin? Then I have come up with helping you in finding out all the research skill checklist for all of you who are watching out this video. So come along with me and let's discuss about the topic in detail. Hey everyone, this is Caroline Green from Biotechnica. So let's talk about the topic in detail. The first research skill checklist, if you're going to start as a research fellow, you need to have some questions first. So come up with a lot of questions. Suppose if you're going to find any kind of problem, scientific problem, suppose let's take if you want to find a drug for a cancer or like breast cancer or whatever it is, or if you would like to find any sort of drug for any sort of diseases, then you can literally start up with a question. So first thing is come up with questions or you can come up with one question and take up the entire project also. So what you want or need to know, that's going to be the major uh, thing that you have to know. Suppose if you are interested entering into oncology, some people would be interested in entering into reproductive health sciences. So in such cases, you already know the problem that people are facing these days. So you're going to take up the problem, but you need to know what you want to find out, what you need to know in that disease. Suppose we can talk about people who are suffering from polycystic ovarian disease. People are suffering from a lot of reproductive health issues. People are suffering from a lot of cancer issues. Many things, many things or plant related problems. Many are actually there. So you know the, you know the situation of a specific disease, but you have to find out what do you want to know or you need to know. That question you have to ask initially. The next important thing is, what question will help you to get the answers you need? That's the most important thing. Suppose if you are someone who would like to find a drug for a specific disease. So you need to know what question if I have to put, I'm going to get the answer for that one. So suppose you can find out the drugs. What are the drugs that are used for a specific cancer or any sort of uh, malaria infections or tuberculosis or many, many things. You need to put up the question that will help you to get the answer that you wanted. What drug can be used for? Or you might have went through a problem also. So that might be a question also. So first research skill checklist is going to be coming up with a question or coming up with questions. So the next one is definitely going to be observation. Yes, you're seeing something which is actually observing. So you have to observe. As a researcher, the second research skill checklist is going to be observing. How can you ask a question? Have you ever seen all the details? Have you ever got all the details? Suppose, let me take it as an example. If there is anybody who is actually having a problem of breast cancer or PCOD or any sort of reproductive health. So, have you know about the information of the diseases? What are the drugs that they are going to treat it? How much amount of the dosage they are going to give you? So, if you have a little bit of detail about the research that's been done before, have you got some amount of the details of it? So, have you seen the details? from it. Have you missed something? In that period of time, a basic outline if you're going to do, have you missed some point of things? If you have that, just analyze it. Some points will actually trigger you to find out the exact uh, research itself. Sometimes you would be coming up with one question, but in the middle you would be finding another one that becomes a project also. So have you missed any sort of thing that is over there. So second important thing is you're going to do an observation. Come up with a question. The second thing is observing. This is most important thing for a researcher. The third important thing is going to be the research skill checklist is going to be you're going to plan it. Yes, as a researcher, as anything, you need to have a planning without a plan, a vehicle without a break. So you have to go for a planning. In this situation, you're going to ask little bit of questions here. How will you get the information you need or you want? Yes, you already know you are going to have a question. You have literally uh, had some question to find out a problem. There is one problem. You're going to find out a solution to the problem. And you have actually got some information. You have observed. Did I have some amount of information about it? Or have you missed something? But now the thing is, how you are going to get all the informations? All the information you wanted. Suppose if you want to discover a drug for a disease. So you need to get all the information. Initially, you would have had a very uh, little bit of information. So check over that you get all the information available. How will you get it? 
what online source you're going to go for or you're going to go in for research papers, Google Scholar you're going to search or how you're going to search all those things. How are you going to get all the information? The next important thing, where can you get the information? That's the most important thing. In which site you will get the information? That is the next important question you're going to ask. The next is, who can give you the information? Yes, there are people, if you're going to collaborate with researchers, if they have done a certain project, abroad or in any part of India, you can also get information by asking them about the project. So who to contact and get the information if it's correlated with the project also. So the, this is going to be the planning. You have to ask all this question. So this is the third research skill checklist for you. The fourth one is collecting data. Yes, now you had a question, you observed and then you have a plan. Now you have to start collecting all the data. It is not necessary you only have to go for theoretical research, initially starting with a survey or you can go for a laboratory technique also. Usually we will go for a review of literature, understanding everything. That is what we have seen before, like collecting all the information which we usually does, review of literature. Next one is going to be collecting data. How you're going to collect data? This also can come under the research papers. So which source you can get information from? the data from which means you're executing your research. So you can get information from a research paper. Definitely you can get information from a research paper or you can start your experiment and you can find out the result of your uh, research or you can find something to a lot of technologies that is available and even you can get information from textbooks. Suppose if you're going for a mechanism or a signaling pathway, you always look in for the standard signaling pathway in a textbook and based on that we used to alter the pathway. And we already know about reactive oxygen species. So reactive oxygen species is maximum, then definitely it's going to cause tumor. So what we can do, we are going to alternate the path of a, a cell from shifting by creating a lot of ROS. So you can literally go and check in for the standard pathway and how you're going to alter it. So textbooks are going to be a greater reference for you if you're going to uh, start your research. And you can also perform surveys. This is usually uh, done usually and we used to have ANOVA SPSs we used to use and we used to collect all the information and then we used to interpret the data also. So you can go for survey very specifically if people in India or abroad are affected with a very specific problem that's been existing you can literally go for a survey if things are not available. If the recent surveys are available, then you can leave off and start your own experiments also. Then you can also get an information from visual media. Like a lot of uh, researchers or scientists used to talk in a conferences or in a videos, you can have webinars. So you can also get information through that. And uh, people who are doing research in plant as well as in case of animals used to visit museums and they used to go and collect informations from there. Some endangered species, if they're going to do some sort of research, they can actually go for it. And definitely if they're going to go in for uh, some plant research, you used to go to Himalayan country, Himalayas, and they used to collect uh, all the information. So through a map also, you can actually get this thing. This is going to be the most important thing, collecting a data. So you have to check in for the fourth important research skill checklist is, are you collecting your data? Are you going to ask this question to you? The next is record the data. You have collected the data, but where are you going to put all your data there? Suppose if you have done a survey, you will have all your data collected in an ANOVA or in an SPS itself. You have all the information which will be saved. If not, if you're going to do a survey online, you have the information recorded. If you are writing something, you have where you're going to write it. So record all the information in you, any sort of sources. So how are you going to record the information? So you can write a statement and you can keep it. Or you can record audio or video. This is usually some people used to do if they find it very difficult to write. They just record this is the information that they have got. You can record it in the form of a video or audio or tally. Of course, if you know tally, you can use ANOVA, SPSS, everything. Or some people used to have some sort of uh, uh, presentations or we can say some a mind maps they used to have or flow charts that they used to have whatever the information they have done they used to put all sort of information in the form of mind maps also or in the form of flow charts also 
or some people used to make charts like usually when you do some experiments we used to make charts what is going to be the result of the experiments that you have done like protein estimations or if you have isolated a protein sample so we used to go for some uh, making of charts is also been done over there and note taking of course you can make notes of it separately when you're going to go in for this so you have collected the data and the next is recording all the data wherever you need it so this is the important research skill checklist next one is you have recorded now you have to organize it yes that's the most important thing that you have to do so how will you sort out all the information you got you got all the information like whatever you have done in the laboratory experiments or you got a survey and you got some information so are you going to take all the informations everything you're going to do at this stage which is going to be organizing your data so how are you going to sort out all the informations you're going to got what information will you use you you might have got a lot of information suppose if you're doing a survey you might be understanding so you might get a lot of information from a lot of people when you're going to put all the things in anova or in sps you would be finding so many things will be there or if you're going to take some sort of uh, papers and if you're going to do a review of literature and if you have a lot of information you will have maximum things to be bound there so what information you are going to use which means when you're doing a review of literature itself you will come to a conclusion okay i was about to ask a question there but now i'm finding a question here so you'll take up the question also there so what information you got you're going to use it for your project the next one what information can be trusted that's the most important thing certain things will not be trustable certain things will be trustable so what information can be trustable and you can take that information from how will you make it easily understandable that's another important thing you have to make the next important thing is you will be writing a paper about your research project that you have done how it is going to be understandable for others so this is going to be the sixth research skill checklist if you're going to be a researcher the next one seventh okay now we got the information we collected the information we have organized the information now we have to interpret the data that's the most important thing interpretation takes a lot of time this is very important because it has to be accurate also so let's talk about what are the conclusions you have got so far suppose if you have done any sort of facts analysis or ngs you have to predict it correctly so you have to interpret it correctly so what is going to be the conclusion of your experiment so how much you are going to get that and what information are you going to use it because you might have done so many facts analysis for one sort of sample but what sample is going to be accurate and successful and accurate you will be definitely taking that for a use so what information are you going to be use is the matter what is the most important information you got so you might have got many information when you're going to do a research you will be knowing it you will get many information but out of that what information you are going to use is going to be the last point so these are some of the checklists that you have to follow when you're going to do your research okay let's proceed on to the next research skill once okay okay let's start this so the eighth research skill checklist is going to be now you got everything you have interpreted your data now you have to present your data yes so the final one for everybody is now you got some information now we will start presenting if you are in a lab you would be presenting whatever data you got you're going to present it so what are the things you have to do how can you share what you have learned effectively so during your research period you might have done so many things for like 4 5 years you might have done so how can you share it to the people it can be in the form of any way it can be in the form of a presentation it can be in the form of a video it can be in the form of an audio it can be in the form of a research paper also how can you share what you have learned through the long process of this phd journey or even a masters project also what media will work for you this time yes that's the most important thing many people used to do research but whatever you're going to do research that has to be communicated to everybody that's the most important thing research papers or this media has come into existence so you just check what media will work at this point of time and accordingly you can share the data it can be in the form of research papers or audio visual or it can be in the form of any thought of presentation on a conferences or whatever it is the most important thing is presenting your data whatever you have collected during the 
this period of time. So in this video, I was talking about all the research skill checklist, starting from coming up with a question and then ending up with presenting your data that you have done. So today we've been discussing about what are the research skill checklist. Suppose if you are a researcher, check out all the things, how you can start your process. If you have so many questions in your mind, how to start and where to begin, how to begin and all these things in your mind, if you're wondering what to do, then definitely this video will be helping you. So ask the questions how it is going to work out and have this research checklist, which is applicable universally, whatever project you're going to carry out. This is going to be the research skill checklist for all of you. So I believe that this video is helpful for all of you. If you really like this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel Biotechnica. So you can also welcome to put your comments in the comment section. Thank you all of you and I'm going to meet you back again with another interesting video.